Somebody asked the question uh, just now. I was loading this kiln, and um, they've been watch. This person been watch, had been watching my business for quite a while, and they know a lot of uh, a lot of the little things about my business that not everyone knows. And they asked me was if this was big silver, and um, I think what they were really asking me was they wanted they wanted to. Um, they, they were trying to help me because they want everyone to to see that my 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 business is more than just this one kiln right here. Um, last in 2017, Spork Tyler grossed around uh, 500,000 U.S. dollars. That's half a million U.S. dollars. And you, uh, if, if I if I say that or if I talk about how how good my business is, it might be surprising that I can do that in the kiln like this. Um, and uh, to be honest with you, it 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 probably would be possible to do. Uh, to do it how I, what I did in 2017 probably would be would be possible in this kiln and one other um, uh, for the bisque firings that we do. This is a glaze firing. Um, every every uh, tile is fired twice. There's a, there's a bisque firing and then there's a glaze firing. And the bisque firing hardens up the tile. It allows the tile the the clay to to uh, uh, harden up so that it, it can um, take the glaze, uh, but not too hard, uh, so that the glaze uh, Basically, doesn't absorb into the tile, so then you can't fire it. Um, so it's uh, it, it hardens the tile up, keeps it porous, so the glaze can adhere to the surface, and then you know enough of the material in the clay is burned out, so that it doesn't cause a lot of bubbles in the glaze. So it's a, it's a, it's a very standard, very normal way of firing. Um, so one firing for bisques, one firing for glaze, one kiln for bisques, one kiln for glazes. That's a really good way of doing it. Um, however, I have uh, six kilns. Here's two of them right here. Um, <clears throat> uh, my electrical capacity here has always, at this building, has always been that I can only fire fire one kiln at a time. Um, you know, I can spend like I think it was thirty thousand dollars to get the the whole setup to be a to to the to bump it up to the next level so that I could fire two kilns at once. But it's really not necessary. It isn't necessary to fire two kilns at once. Um, so. This kiln, uh, uh, you know, right now we've, we've been putting some stuff up here because we're cleaning in here. But this kiln's uh, pretty much ready to go. This was actually given to me uh, last year uh, up in Petoskey. Someone didn't want it, um, asked me if I would take it. And, of course, it's a really, it's a perfect, almost a perfectly brand new kiln. Now, this kiln's kind of my original. Uh, for the first, like, ten years of my business, this is, like, the only kiln... I have. This isn't the exact one, but it's the same size as the one that I originally had. So um, this kiln right now just needs a couple, um, couple. Uh, it needs a, just a little bit of electrical work. Um, needs, needs, needs a couple of relays and then maybe some a couple of elements. But um, I could have this running in a, in a couple hours if I if I had those. So. Um, but that's why it's nice to have extra kilns, because then you can just jump from one kiln to the next, because problems happen. So um, if you have a few kilns around, then you can just go from one kiln to the next um, as these little parts wear out and you maybe have a deadline and you don't want to fix the kiln. You'd rather just fire, um, fire a kiln that's working. Um, this kiln, that's my old ice fishing shanty. So I used to haul that building out onto the lake and go ice fishing. I put the red dots on it so that people can see it when they're um, when they're like you know using a snow a snowmobile or a, a quad across the ice. You don't want anyone hitting your shanty, so you put something. I had I had red spots on there, and then I had reflectors. Um, so in here is uh, where we do a lot of the bisque firings, um, because bisque firings produce a lot of smoke, and you can't really be in the shop when it's firing and. It, uh, so we do bisque firings in here. This is a little bit of a larger kiln. Uh, it's got it's wider. So uh, when you're doing bisque firings, it's good to have a little space sometimes when you're firing larger tiles. Uh, also, I can use this as a glaze firing kiln if I need to. So sometimes when I have larger tiles uh, I need fired, I use that kiln. But that primarily is for the bisque firings. Now this is the kiln that my uh, Facebook friend was talking about. This is Big Silver. Big Silver I got up in a really uh, really cool part uh, of uh, northern Michigan here, a place called Harbor Springs. It's um, you know very uh, wealthy area 
uh, on Lake Michigan. Um, it's a cool little community. I do an art fair up there. Um, this is my largest kiln. Um, I do this. I use this for bisque firings because it's out here and the smoke doesn't get inside. Um, plus, this is about double the volume, so I can I can fire about twice as much in this kiln. It takes longer, but uh, it just saves time and it saves money when you fire it all at once. Um, so ideally, I like to use this kiln as much as possible because it saves money and um, time. But like I said, there's lots of reasons why it takes more time to load it up. Um, right now, it needs a couple elements, so I just have been using the kilns in the shop for now. Um, the name Big Silver, I, I always used to be, well, I still kind of am, I haven't watched it in a while, I've been busy, but I'm a fan of this show called Gold Rush on um, Discovery Channel. They're up in Alaska looking for gold. Well, there was, this, there was one of, their, one of their, um, their shakers for the, one of the crews, the gold mining crews, they called their machine Big Red. So I, I just decided to call this Big Silver because it was silver looking and um, I don't know, it was just... <laughs> I, I like gold, so I think gold is, is um, fun to collect, and um, looking for gold is, is exciting. So I called it Big Silver. And this kiln, um, like I said, this is where I'll be firing my salmon in here. Uh, it's nice and wide and long, and um, uh, it's just it's just another option. Like I said, it saves money and time using a kiln this size. So I have, I have uh, six kilns. Actually, I have seven kilns. I have, a, I have a small little kiln that I call a test kiln. I use that for um, doing a really quick small orders in case, uh, you know, we just need to do a couple tiles at a time. Um, but um, those are my kilns. And um, you can really, uh, you can, it's amazing how much you can produce, especially when you do tile work. Tiles are flat. Um, pottery is different, like coffee mugs and bowls and plates. And vases they take up a lot of space in a kiln but tiles I can just really load this up so um, but again the tiles that I do are really special they're all hand painted they take a lot of time it's taken a lot of time for me to develop the style and the color palette so there's a reason why they're $40 a tile usually um, or around 30 uh, uh, 300 crowns so there you have it Sport Kyle Art Kilns.